Hello, this is Melinda from Green Duck Sales. Um, today I am working on that um, Mickey Mouse Club order I think I showed you on the last video I was still working on. Today I'm going to put together Daisy Duck. It's a two-sided centerpiece and I'm just going to show you how I piece it together. And then I still have to embellish all the pieces and put them on sticks, which I will show you once they're done, of course. So here's Daisy Duck. Um, what I did was cut out all these pieces on my Cricut. The last time I showed you, I did the silhouette, but um, this person wanted it pieced together. So I do that with the Cricut. I do do a print and cut for the face, though. I just think it looks better and more co cohesive when it's actually on instead of everything being piecemealed together. But of course you can still piecemeal it together. So here's my base and I'm gonna, this is one side, have everything already ready for adhesives. So I'm gonna take, I do two bases to make it stronger. Take one of the bases and we are going to start with probably her face. So I did the, this is the Xyron adhesive. When I do the piecemeals together, I call them piecemeals, I guess that's not really what it's called though. I like to do the Xyron as my adhesive rather than my ATG gun because sometimes these pieces are really hard to get in. If you see the shirt, this is her shirt, there's a lot of little teeny pieces that it's hard to get the adhesive on with the ATG. Um, you can use glue, which would work. I have just found that the Xyron works really well for what I am looking for and it's to me it's easier so I'm gonna start with her face put it together this is the part that sometimes I don't um, smush it down and get a really good adhesive right away in case I need to move any of the pieces. I can do that as long as I don't smush it down. Once I really adhere it to the paper, this stuff does not come off. So I like to just lightly put it in place in case I need to move it, especially when you're piecing these together. Sometimes you have to move the pieces to make them all fit. So here's one that you try to go along the outline, and I know that I did the thicker outlining. Um, when you first put this image into Cricut De Design Space, it comes up with an actual thinner outline and it shadows this outline, which I believe they actually call it a shadow. If you have the older machines, the, like the expression, which I do have too, in case my the Cricut Design goes down, I can still cut pieces. Because Cricut Design is internet based. And so sometimes it gets a little finicky. And when you have to get orders and pieces out, I don't want to wait around for it to not be finicky. So I still have my expression that I can actually physically put the cartridges in and uh, get the work done. That's another thing that. When I work with the silhouette, 
that software is actually on your computer. It is not internet based. So you can work on it whether you have internet access or not. I'm just taking this little rubber adhesive remover and there's a little bit of adhesive that I got right there. Sometimes the middle of the bows gotta get out. Okay, so I know that the face, the shirt, and the bow are looking pretty good. Let's do the bottom next. Yeah, so the design space is great if being internet based if you're going to see that didn't line up exactly right and I didn't put it all the way down so take my nifty spatula and get under there and because I didn't squish it down well, it should pop up easily but I keep myself on the little curves okay sorry so the design space for Cricut is internet based so you can log on to any I guess application you know whether you have it on your iPad your phone or your computer you can design which is nice like I said, if the internet goes down or you don't have a Wi-Fi on one of your applications, then you're not using it. And the Silhouette software, which is actually on your computer, and you can put it on multiple computers. I think you can put it on three, I believe. <clears throat> so you can design from different computers, but that computer has to have the software on it in order for you to design. So this is a pretty large um, well, no, it's a 10 piece order that I've been working on in between other orders and it really needs it has to get out this weekend so I actually put the kids in daycare today so I can just work on this and get it out it takes a little longer to do the center pieces that you cut out each piece from Cricut. You can cut out each piece also with Silhouette. Um, they don't just do print and cut. You can cut out each piece of which I'm actually going to do with um, Pete and Clarabel because Cricut does not have Pete and Clarabel on their machines. So I actually had to create a file to cut out Pete and Clarabelle in pieces like this and the Silhouette software is amazing for doing that. I mean you can you think of it actually I'm going to do the shoes first you think of it and you can you can create it with Silhouette it's just amazing what you can do with that now you can do some of the same things with Cricut. I mean they both can cut out and piecemeal. They both can print and cut but the Silhouette has a larger um, capability of printing and cut. The Cricut machine still has a size limitation on that. And um, so I did print and cut the face from Cricut 
because this was small enough that I was able to do that. But if you need anything bigger, Cricut will not do it. They say that they're going to change that option and open it up, but they have not done it yet. Oh, arms. Kind of use arms. Arms would help. I just thought I would show you all the piece, putting piece to piece together since all the ones I've done of my other videos, well except for the Mickey Mouse head banner, I showed you how to make that and then I put it together. Um, but most of the other ones were from Silhouette, the print and cut. And I do the Cricut ones as well. I do like the way that these look. You know, when they're done, look at that. She, the colors are great, they're vibrant. Because you're pretty much picking what paper you use and what colors because uh, I think normally she Daisy comes with the purple shoes bow and then actually the eye makeup is purple and her shirt is like a blue color Actually, I think her shirt and the eyes are blue color. But, of course, you can make it however you want. And you can do that with the print and cut, too. You can change the colors and all that. Alright, so there's one side. And then I will take the ATG gun and put the backing on this. I'm going to do the other side real quick. Or, yeah, I have to get the other side done anyway. So I can do the other side. You guys probably don't want to watch me do the other side. So I'll put the backing on her to show you guys that. There's my ATG gun. This stuff is great as well. And if you don't smush it down right away, you can also move the items. But once it is firmly in place, you can't move the items. You would probably ruin the paper trying to get Actually, I know you were in the paper trying to get it off because I've done that before. That's for sure. That's how I learned that if you do, if you just place it in at first, then you can move the items if need be. Learn that one the hard way. But sometimes it's a trial and error. It's a few things. Definitely have been trial and error. Also, um, if anyone has the older crickets and use Gypsy, I never did the Gypsy. I always just print.
print it or cut off the cartridges by putting them in the machine. But the Gypsy will let you print off off mat so you can make the larger images. Um, if you want to make a larger image with a Cricut by piecing it together and you don't have Gypsy, you can still do it. Uh, not print and cut, actually piecemealing it together. You can still do it, but how to do that, which I should have shown a video last one I did. I just did a two foot Mickey piece together. Now, with this though, you will see the seams on the back background if you don't strategic even if you strategically try to place them where you don't see them you're still gonna see them on the sides when you go to put the clothing and stuff on sometimes you just can't help it depending on what image you're doing like I was doing that's not placement right uh, I was doing Mickey Mouse is the one I was doing and because he doesn't really have a lot of clothes on you could see some I think you could see two of the seams on each side of his shorts but the way you would do that is you pull the image in design space which I have to do a video to show you guys how to do it. Um, you pull the image to two feet in design space. And then you strategically um, where you want How many times am I going to do this? Um, then you strategically decide, you know, based on where the clothing is and which which one you're doing, you decide where you're going to make your cuts. And then how you make your cut, cuts, because there's, there's not a knife option, which would have been nice for them to do, but there's not a knife option. In design space so you have to pick from the insert shapes and you pick a shape it doesn't I usually do square because it's a straight has a straight line to it and you uh, unlock the see, geez, how many times am I gonna do this? Yeah, she stand up. You unlock the I don't know what it's called. The part where it keeps it proportioned to what the square size is. That part's good, and this part's not good. So I'm just gonna bring up this half, and you bring the square across wherever you uh, are going to make your cut line, and you do it as a slice option and when you do the slice option it slices it wherever you told it to slice still not happy with the lower part right here 
of being a perfectionist because nobody else will probably be able to see it. Except for it's going to bug me. There we go. Now, how many times did I do that? Okay. Maybe I'll have to do a video on how to make bigger pieces with the Cricut, which you can do. It's just, this does, this is time consuming to put all the pieces together. I do like the way it looks. And if you're doing it for yourself, it's great. So there's one side and then I just have to put some embellishments on her. I'll probably put something on her toe of this one since the last one's facing out and then something right here, probably a necklace or something right here. So I'll probably do this in segments so this video doesn't get too long. So there is part of Daisy and then we have Toodles, I just have to finish the red portion of the upper part and then this one turned out super duper cute, there's the clubhouse. Here's the clubhouse. That's all piecemealed together and cut out. I think that's turned out really cute. And then I already sent the mini and that's when they decided they wanted all these others. So here's Goofy. Two-sided Goofy. Okay. Here's Pluto. I think I already showed you most of these in the other one. Here's Donald. I need to put them all together. Well, on sticks. And Mickey. And I still need to cut out and put together Pete and Clarabelle. I just love how this clubhouse turned out. Super cute. I have to embellish them and put them on sticks. So maybe I will do this as like a piecemeal video, piecemeal video for putting piecemeal together. So I just showed you how I put all the pieces together. And then this is one side with the two layers of black and then all the different parts on it. And then maybe I will show you guys putting them one on a stick and then embellishing one and then I can take photos of what it all looks like. We will see. Alright. Thank you and we'll see if I piecemeal this video together. Bye. For now. Hi, I'm back. Just like I said, I would um, do it kind of in piecemeal but it'll be one video. So I am going to put the sticks on. And then embellish a couple uh, couple of them and then take pictures and get this uploaded. Alright. So on this one I'm trying to decide how I want it because his feet stretch out but I want the center of the body or the heaviest portion to be on the stick and then I want to make sure that this doesn't hang off too far off the block so leave
straight. Uh, sometimes the hardest part is just the first initial of where I want the peg and how the center piece is going to look. that the sticks touch each other. That's what gives it the the strength. I have a half stick from probably the last one I put together which was Goofy I think I put together right before I was gonna film. Nothing bends my shipment or when they're uh, I should say that. or when people are displaying them for their centerpieces. I don't want anything to bend. Duck. See how he's a little bendy. So we're going to place some stabilizers in there. He's a big one. The way he is, he actually is not completely um, 12 inches or one foot from top to bottom because his leg comes out and his foot comes out. So from this point to this point, it is 12 inches. Some marking there too. Oh, come on. That's better. Okay, so that should make him, oh yeah, super stable. And then we just have his feet to worry about. Which I do want to overlap each other and take the thinner pieces on this. 